everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and I'm going to be showing you how to use the walking foot, also known as an even feed foot or a dual feed foot. I'm going to show you a few of the cool things it can do, what kind of fabrics you can sew with it, and how to install it so you can start using it with your sewing projects. So this is the walking foot and it looks a little intimidating at first, but what it is, it has built-in feed dogs right here that pull your fabric at the same rate as the feed dogs that are already built in your machine. So it grabs a hold of the fabric, pulls it through, and prevents any puckering or any kind of slipping around. So we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to install it. First, what you wanna do is take off the foot that you have, including the shank that comes with it. So get your screwdriver and remove this one. And then what's important about this is you want this little arm to go over your thumb and you want to try to get this cut out onto the screw right here. This one goes on your needle holder, this one goes on your screw. So go ahead and wrap it around the back of your machine right here kind of wiggle on the arm I like to wiggle on the arm first and then try to wiggle on the the cutout for the screw tighten it a little bit with your fingers get your screwdriver to make sure it's nice and snug and that's all there is to it you can move it around and you're ready to go So when most people think of a walking foot, they immediately think of quilting. And it is essential for quilting because it will pull all the layers at the same time. So like this would be a quilt, you can see we have like Minky the batting, we're gonna double it up. And I'll show you how well it goes over the material and pulls it. Now it doesn't really backstitch, so you need to bring it down to like a zero. Just sew a couple stitches to lock it in. Increase it up to you know what, whatever length you want and just watch as it pulls the fabric. It is a little loud but it sews wonderfully over these. And if this was a quilt it's not going to bunch up or do anything yucky especially since you spent all that time making your quilt. So see we can double it up again and it sews like nothing. When you're done, you just bring it back down to zero to lock in the stitches. And it's easy as that. Didn't go anywhere, didn't have to use any pins, worked perfectly. So the same thing with denim. I have four layers of denim right here that I'm not gonna use any pins, I'm not gonna use any adhesive. I'm just gonna put it under and let the walking foot do its job. Have the zero, lock in the stitch, put it back up, and watch how easily it pulls everything through. Nothing's shifting, nothing's moving out of the way, and this is just a regular 9014 needle. I don't have anything else special. The walking foot does all the work. Perfect. So the walking foot is also ideal for slippery fabrics, especially satins where you don't want a whole bunch of pinholes. You can just put it under and the walking foot will make sure your pieces aren't moving out of place. It's gonna keep everything together nicely. And it's not gonna leave any funky marks, and especially with these satins where any kind of puckering is gonna show up, any kind of ripples, it'll just sew right through it. See, no puckering at all. It would lie completely flat with an iron. So there are some materials that you have to use a walking foot with. I mean, walking foot is great for quilting, but you have to use it on these PVC materials, on um, these kind of plasticky or um, these faux leather materials. So I'll show you, it grabs the material and pulls it through. But with these, if you use a regular foot, the stitches will go all over the place. But you can see here, it pulls it perfectly. And the stitches are completely even. 
and look very nice. And with this, um, you get these cool kind of plastic materials. No pins, can't use pins on them because it'll compromise the structure of it. So here you go, goes right through. No pins, seams line up perfectly, pulls it right through. No slippage, nothing's going anywhere. Just like this. And with these you can see with faux leathers. These are kind of cool. You find them in your home deck department and it'll just pull it right through it. It saves a lot of time with material because you don't spend all your time pinning. And it looks great. So with the walking foot, it makes applique a lot faster and a lot easier. You don't have to use any pins. You don't have to use any adhesive. All you have to do is put it on the foot, put it on a zigzag, and let it go. And it won't create any funky bubbles. Um, it's not going to shift around on you. And if you put it on a, um, on a really short zigzag, you won't even have to worry about any fraying. It just does it really fast and really simply. And like I said, you can't, it doesn't really do much of a back stitch, so just put it down to zero, it'll lock in your stitches. And it works fine. So another thing you can do with the walking foot is it makes adding binding go much more smoothly. As you can see, I've got the really, you know, finicky material right here that we can put underneath. You just wrap the binding around whichever way you want. I'm just going to encase the fabric in it. Put it on a zigzag or a straight stitch with, you know, whichever you want to do and let it do its job. And you'll see there won't be any puckering. There won't be any ripples. Sometimes when you're adding binding, it gets really ripply or one length ends up being longer than the other and you're wondering what's going on. It's because you need the two feeds to pull everything through. So here you can see everything lies perfectly flat. No puckers, no ripples and on the back as well. Very nice. So here we can see the differences between a walking foot and quilting without a walking foot. This is with the walking foot and this is without the walking foot. As you can see without it, you'll get all kinds of bunching and puckering. You can't really avoid it because you'll need the two, the two feet to pull it through. With it, everything lies flat. It looks really great. And without it, you kind of run into all kinds of problems. So that was the walking foot, very versatile, very useful, essential for any kind of quilting or utility fabrics. So I hope you have fun sewing with yours.